when the Salaf used to depart after any meeting, they used to tell each other, يعني, give me a wasiya. يعني, remind me of something. So they used to repeat this statement. Very beautiful statement, which we will explain today, inshallah ta'ala. They used to tell each other, من أصلح سريرته أصلح الله على نيته ومن أصلح ما بينه وبين وما بين الله أصلح الله ما بينه وما بين الناس ومن اهتم بأمر آخرته كفاه الله أمر دنيا. يعني imagine this is the statement that they remind each other all the time. So. من أصلح سريرته أصلح الله على نيته. Whomsoever make his sarira صالحة. Whomsoever fix or make better his sarira. Sarira is from the word sir. Sir is secret. So whomsoever make his secret affairs perfect, his external affairs automatically will be perfect. The point is, concentrate on fixing what's in the heart. Automatically what's outside will be fixed. If you notice, we do it the other way around. And there's, don't get me wrong, Islam and Rasulullah told us to fix the outside from the beard to the way you dress to the way you comb your hair. All that stuff is from the Sunnah. But to make this the priority is a problem. To concentrate on what people see and neglect what Allah looks at, that's the problem. Because Rasulullah told us, إن الله لا ينظر إلى أعمال إن الله لا ينظر إلى أموالكم. Allah does not look at your properties and your children and all that. Allah looks at your hearts. So we concentrate a lot on what people see and we neglect what Allah is watching and what really matters. So here the advice is أصلح من أصلح سريرته. Whomsoever fix the sir, the time. And the actions, when they are done in private, when we are alone, if you, wanted to know, if you want to know, grade yourself, if you want to grade yourself, check yourself when you're alone. This is who you are. This is now, here is beautiful. Everybody is beautiful. But when you're alone, how do you react? How do you behave? This is who you are. That's why they said, be very careful of the sins committed in secret because the judge is the only witness. And from the seven people who are praised and who will be under the shade of Allah when there's no shade except his shade, there are three of them that did things in private. The one who did, who gave a sadaqah, that his left hand does not know his right hand. Look, this is how secretive he was. And the one whom someone khala bimra'a, he was alone with a woman that is pretty. And he told, she told him, fear Allah. And he stopped. And the third, he was alone again. Khaliyan. Fafadat ayna. He remembered Allah when he was alone. And he started tearing. So how is your... How are you when you are in private, when you are alone? The a'mal vary from one person to another according to the involvement of the heart in that amal. What does that mean? A person, two people prayed. I am looking, I am seeing two people praying. This prayer is favored to the other prayer 
to as much as the, the heart is involved in this prayer. This person was praying just because his father forced him to pray. And this person came with like three, four, five intentions. So to me, from the outside, it looks like they're both praying. But to Allah Azza wa Jal, whatever is in the heart favors that amal from the other person. And similarly, in my fasting, in my donation, everything is favored according to how much the, the heart is involved in that action. Man aslaha sarirata, whomsoever fix what's inside, the secret stuff, Allah will fix his public. And remember, Allah told us, يَوْمَ تُبْلَ sarair On that day, all the secrets are exposed. All the secrets are exposed. Every good or evil, every lie or every time we read the Qur'an, everything is exposed. Second, we hear a lot of problems in the community. Many people, I have a problem with my spouse, I have a problem with my parents, I have a problem at work, I have a problem here and there. Listen to the second one. Whomsoever fix what's between him and Allah, Allah will fix what's between him and others. <laughs> so you're having problem with your spouse, with your parents, with your brother, with your siblings. With fix what's between you and Allah. Fix the salat. Fix your zakat. Fix your siyam. Fix your relationship with the parents. Fix, fix any, all the ibadat that you're performing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will fix your relationship with others. And that applies to everything. And the last one, just to make the khatira short. Man ihtamma bi akhirati kathahu Allahu amra dunya. Subhanallah. And this is similar to hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he said, Man kana hammuhu al akhira. Whomsoever, listen, ya akhwan, let's make this our goal. <laughs> Whomsoever make the akhirah, the hereafter, his main concern. What happens? The dunya will come running to him. And whomsoever make the dunya his main concern, he will lose both. Look at this deal. Look at this deal. If you make the akhirah your main concern, you will get both. If you make the dunya your main concern, you will lose both. What does it mean to make the akhirah my main concern? Every single move, I ask myself before I do it, if it's pleasing to Allah or not. This is what it means. My main concern that one day I'm going to stand in front of Allah and report about that business that I'm in, about my treatment to my spouse, about my treatment to my parents, about the upbringing of my children, about every single thing I did. I am going to report. I'm always worried before I make any decision. What am I going to tell Allah? This is what it means. And if I apply that, the dunya will come running. Raghima. Rasulullah used the word raghima. The dunya will come whether you like it or not. She's going to come after you. What do we do, ya akhwan? If we, I compare how much of my time per day for dunya and how much for akhirah. insignificant does that mean I don't do anything of course not we are all mashallah highly educated mature people ya akhwan, every single move my young brothers and sisters every uh, major that you go to school and major in everything could be transformed into a ibadah just with the proper intention with the proper intention my main concern is this is my last day this is my main concern the, the last brother we, we buried was 24 years old. So younger than 90% of the audience. So 
Imagine every single morning I wake up and I say, today is my last day. Every morning, today is my last day. Today, the last day I'm going to see my wife. How am I going to treat her? Today is the last day I'm going to see my mother. Today is the last day I'm going to pray. How is that Salat going to be? Today is the last day I'm going to see my brothers in the community. Am I going to fight with them and argue and give them the dirty looks? Today is my last day. That's it. I'm done. Let me ask you a question. Could today be my last day or your last day? Absolutely. Absolutely. So why don't we treat it as our last day? So what is the advice, subhanAllah, in this dunya? There's a poet who said something very beautiful. He said, ثمانيةٌ تجري على الناس كلهم لا بد للإنسان أن يلقى الثمانية سرور وحزن وتفرق واجتماع وفرقة ويسر وعسر ثم سقم وعافية <laughs> He said something very beautiful. He said eight things every human being is going to go through the whole eight. Happiness and sadness. Meeting and departing. Meeting people and then leaving each other, whether by death or by hardship and ease. And health and sickness. Who among us did not go through the whole eight? <laughs> All of them, not like, you know, one of them is going to hit every single one of them. We went through it, whether it's sickness or health or wealth or uh, poverty or we lost people that we love, people came to our life. Every single one of us is going to go through those eight. So, subhanAllah, let's make every single action. You know, one of the Salaf, he used to say, in 40 years, listen, subhanAllah, in 40 years, I did not say a word except I prepared an answer to Allah. I did not utter a statement except if Allah asked me, why did you say that? I have the answer ready. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from the people who listen and apply. And may Allah make me from the people who practice what they preach. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our last deeds, our best deeds. And may Allah Azza wa Jal make our last words. La ilaha illallah. Sallallahu alayhi wa Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu alayk. Inna al-muslimina wal-muslimati wal-mu'minina wal-mu'minati wal-qanitina wal-qanitati wal-sadiqina wal-sadiqati wal-sabirina wal-sabirati wal-khashi'ina wal-khashi'at والخاشعين والخاشعات والمتصدقين والمتصدقات والصائمين والصائمات والحافظين فروجهم والحافظات والذاكرين الله كثيرا والذاكرات أعد الله لهم مغفرة وأجرا عظيما